channel sponsored by Retorto Family Books. Check out the books written by your host Mark Retorto and his daughter Christina Retorto at www.retortofamilybooks.com. Hi everyone and welcome back to the Rockin' with Mark UQ channel and today we're going to be doing an instructional series on how to configure a patch on a Boss uh, E-Band JS8. I already uh, did an overview of this particular uh, product in another video. I'll put a link to that in the description below and uh, before we get in get started with this I just want to let you guys know that you can have multiple effects at the same time except there's one limitation for instance you can't use a distortion pedal with a flanger or a phaser pedal all right but there's a way to work around that by using the uh, gain on a let's say a Marshall amp because it is does have amp simulation on it but you can always have uh, like let's say distortion with chorus and reverb as well as an EQ and uh, and a noise gate pedal but we'll get into that in a second so when we come back we're gonna zoom in and begin the instructions now we're gonna teach you how to create your own patch on the boss Eban JS8 first thing you want to do is hit the effects you want to go to user patch, find a spot, an empty uh, slot, so to speak. You can already see that I had my uh, Lynch and my Van Halen. So then you scroll down, find an empty one, hit the arrow on the right, hit the other arrow on the right. Just ignore this. These are just like easy settings. Okay. So this is where you would go to set your amp. You can see you got Boss Clean, Marshall J. JC120, Clean Pro Crunch. These are all your different types of uh, amps. So let's say we'll go with the uh, JC, right? And then, like I said, if you want to use, let's say, a distortion um, with a flanger, you'll have to like crank up the. Uh, gain a lot here then you got the level right and enter make sure it's on hold on these are all the different effects you can have overdrive wah compressor octave you know flanger Right? I don't know how good this is going to sound because I'm just uh, battling here. Then if you really wanted to get in, that turns it on. And if you press the arrow again, if you want to get into the detail settings, like the rate and depth, etc. Right? To turn it on, you hit the enter button. This is if you hit the next arrow to go to the next wing. If you want to turn the EQ on, the noise gate. If you want to turn the delay. Right, you hit the enter button to turn it on, and then you get different types single, pan, stereo, re analog, etc. Tape, blah 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 blah. All right, I'm gonna leave that off for now. Chorus, and you could also turn it on by turning the knob. See how it turns on? Hit the hour, go to the next one, turn on chorus again. You hit enter, so I'm gonna turn it off. You can set all the settings in here. All right. Reverb. Different type. Hall, Hall 1, Room, Studio. I'm going to leave it on Ambient for now. Turn it on by hitting the Enter button. If you want to go to each setting, you just hit the scroll button on the, to go, the arrows to go left to right. 
right now it's on I always forget what this one is oh effects character easy character all right I usually leave leave it alone all right and then to name the patch you hit the menu button then you scroll down the patch name then you use the knob to switch the letters and you can go go to the right change you can even put numbers in there characters and so forth then you hit enter and then hit enter again if you if you're sure right let me see if this would even work and then after you're done if you want to save it you go to write and you write the patch and that's pretty much how you create it let's just see if this thing I don't know if you gotta save it to uh yeah so to save it you hit right after you create the patch name right now again go all the way back here here let's check change a different amp I think I, I think there's like a Marshall amp I usually use to get a real good distortion yeah Marshall 1959 <laughs> Turn the phaser off. Alright. And that's pretty much how you set up a patch in the Boss E-Band JS8. And if you haven't already, please give this video a thumbs up. Uh, hit the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. And don't forget to hit the notification button to get future updates whenever I put out new videos. All right, guys, don't forget, keep on rocking.